Hello. Folks, it's Crafty Mama here. Hope you're all doing good. I thought some of you might enjoy taking a walk down memory lane and seeing what was fashionable and on sale in 1968 and 1969. This was one of my mother's old catalogs. As you can see here, you can get two complete outfits for $6.99. Four whole pieces. What a bargain. Let's just look through and see what the styles look like and what the prices were like. This is just their policy to hold the prices down. Buy from confident confidence or your money back. And we've got dresses over here. Dresses, extraordinary dresses. Six for three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Of course, is the styles their quality go up a little bit more. It's also six for four ninety-nine or six for five ninety-nine. Wow. And let's see what else we have. We've got the all-purpose suburban and car coats for just four ninety-nine. Well, that is quite the bargain. You could buy coats for the entire family at just $4.99 a piece. They do have it in teens, misses, woman sizes. Here's more coats. You get the look of luxury, value priced. Anywhere from $5.99 to $7.99. Love those styles. And we have kids' dresses, car coats, Blouses and skirts. You can get six kids dresses for three eighty nine, or five blouses for dollar ninety five. Here's girls coats, and we all remember those great snowsuits that covered you from top to bottom, your hands and everything. And oh look, those are the nice cute ski pants too. I had a pair like that. Over here we have oh geez, ten dresses for four ninety nine. I mean, wouldn't you think that's way overpriced? I mean, 10 dresses for $4.99, that's 49 cents a piece. Or you can get 20 assorted ga garments. Take your pick, mom, dad, kids, choose whatever you want. 20 assorted garments for $2.89. These seem like incredible buys, but again, remember, it's 1968-69, so you're talking about, I don't know, 52 years, 51, 52, something like that. Over here we have blouses, skirts, and slacks for the ladies. On the next page, we have an assortment of women's shoes and children's shoes. Women, you can get four pairs for $369. Or for the kids, hey, any two pairs are $375. They also have the men's shoes, of course. And I like this one here, the Eisenhower Jackets, U.S. Army Surplus. <laughs> and the Army Surplus Men's Rubberized Waterproof Raincoats. All these Army Surplus things must have come in handy, I'm sure, back then. Here we have winter coats, overcoat, top coat special, suburban coats. They've got suits, broker specials. $11.50, $12.95, $9.95. Here we have pair up your sport jackets and slacks. Buy two jackets and two pair of slacks, just three seventy five to five seventy five. Wow, two pairs of slacks for five ninety nine. Again, look at the fashions. I think it's really interesting to look back at the fashions. Here we just have uh, silk shirt savings. Oh, sensational shirt savings, not silk shirts. You get 12 assorted ties for 99 cents to go with your shirts. Here is some rugged outerwear for men. And an insulated quilted two-piece nylon suit that does not sound comfortable. <laughs> and you have some work clothes, field jackets, rubber ponchos. Rubber poncho, $1.49. Nowadays, there's some things you can still get at the dollar store for the same price. Now here we've got an assortment of things. Gosh, I remember those little tiny adding machines. There's one at the top. I'll point to it in a sec. You get an assortment of toys, a pellet firing Luger automatic, fully automatic gun. Wow. Fires pellets. I don't remember. It fires pellets. <laughs> I was like, geez, it's not a gun. Is it really for 
<clears throat> then we got Julie sets, and oh my gosh, I laughed out loud when I seen the portable hair dryer. My mother had one similar to that when I was a kid growing up, and she looked exactly like that with that thing on her head. Then, of course, you got the waist nipper. Looks like a little torture there. We have over here mix and mix sportswear sweaters and shirts and blouses for the ladies. Over here we have more stuff, skirts, pants, quilted robes. Everybody back in the 60s, I think, had a quilted robe. Over here they have the nylons, the handbags, anklets, handkerchiefs, all kinds of things that a lady could use. We have the flannelette gowns. My mother had more than a couple of those. And the lovely stretch girdles, which were like a little torture chamber in and of themselves. Now on the next page, we have more shoes and boots. A lot of different savings there. Great prices. Uh, I'm going to turn this little card over and you'll see more dresses here. You get complete outfits again, four pieces, two complete outfits for $6.99 if you couldn't afford that. You can just buy one outfit for $3.69. Then we have the house dresses, the dusters, the ships, uniforms, and the knee-high stretch boot, which always reminds me of Nancy Sinatra singing, these boots are made for walking. I don't know why, every time I see those high boots. Over here we have an assortment of different things for your skin and beauty and lightning and... Whatever else to make yourself more beautiful or enhance your beauty, I should say. Here we have the car coats, the raincoats, blouses, skirts, slacks, shoes for girls. And again, like I said, it just reminds you of what the fashions were like back then. Sweaters and things for girls. Flannel pajamas. I had plenty of those myself as a girl. Those long pajamas. Flannel pajamas with the long arms. Hard to move once you got into bed. It all got twisted around. Here we have all kinds of mix and match outfits. And <laughs> snap crotch crawlers. Love that one. Snap crotch crawlers. That just, just does not sound comfortable at all. <clears throat> and then you've got an assortment of work clothes. Shirt pants. Insulated underwear. A West Point belt. I am not even sure. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's tortured for the guys. I don't know what that was meant to hold something together in. I don't know. Here we have, moving on, sweaters and more. Cardigans, bulkies as they call them. All kinds of different sweaters. You have your tailored slacks, your outerwear. More ties, hanky handkerchiefs, and belts. So fashionable. They did not use apparently live models for this. Just as you see the catalog here, more stuff for the men. What they would wear back then. Shirts and drawers. <laughs> they just called them drawers. <laughs> uh, more dress shoes and hunting boots and things like that for the men. All things they might need to dress up or go hunting or work out in the country or in the field or whatever. Over here we have bedspreads, instant door protection. Yeah, I'm sure they had to protect it a lot. <laughs> oh, gosh. You got the polyester lined drapes. And we have blankets and all kinds of things here to store your clothes, tablecloths, different things. Just going through, showing you what's in here. Very interesting. I'm sure some of you may not know any of these things at all. And some of you, like me, maybe remember some of them. Um, here we have a fabric sale, all kinds of fabrics on sale. And on the next page, let's see what we got here. Lace, buttons, ribbon, in between a pan. And I like in the corner the magic massage wand. Uh-huh. I'm sure it was magic back in the day. All right, here we go. Here's some wigs and hair pieces. So you can... Uh, Oh, beautiful hair pieces, custom match to your own hair. Give yourself a new hairdo instantly. Over here, we've got 100% human hair wiglets for $10.99. If they were selling the wigs for $10.99, I don't even imagine the people supplying the real hair were making much money. 
And then you got different, uh, more wigs on this. And more wigs again over here. All different lovely styles. And some of the actresses back in the day, you might recognize some of these hairstyles. I know I do from a couple of the actresses. And then they just have their catalog order form on the back, as you can see. And that's it. And on, and on the very back of it, you got some catalog values, different things on sale here. And that's it. Just thought you might enjoy taking a look at an old catalog. from the past are always fun to me. Leave your comment below and let me know what you remember if you were around then from the 60s. What's something that sticks in your mind? Thanks for watching. Crafty Mama. Have a great day. Bye-bye.